Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Lakeland Vale Let's Play series. Here on Lakeland Vale by Stevie, with me, C1 Eason. And I completely messed up that intro, but hey. Hey, what can you do? Sometimes I fluff my words. Um, I need a tractor, that's what I need. I need a tractor. Because obviously, as you can see on screen, the chickens are crying. Because there's no space for eggs. Because they've laid a million tons of eggs overnight. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bother picking them up, putting them on the trailer and track taking them to a, a, a cell point on the map. I'm just going to push them into the own, to Stevie's own egg cell point that he provides. May not be the best price for the eggs, but hey, gets them out of the way. Gets rid of that little message, doesn't it? Because obviously what I need to be doing today, now we added the cows in the last video, I need to be mixing up some TMR and feeding them. I'm just going to quickly check on the sheep as well. Don't think there's a great deal of field work to be done. In fact, we'll quickly check the map. Um, we'll put the grass on. So, one, two, three, and four are my fields. Five is my field. Twenty-one and twenty. Growth. Yeah. No field work needs to be done yet. No harvesting. Nothing like that. So, let's focus on the TMR for the cows, shall we? Right. I did nip to the store last night. And I bought myself a TMR mixer. We've obviously got the straw blower over yonder. Uh, we needed a um, um, a mixing wagon. So I got the Anderson Smart Mix A950 from the Anderson DLC. I've not used that mixer before, but I'm quite impressed that it's got quite a decent capacity on it, actually. Now, I was having a bit of a... I've, I've done kind of one load of TMR with it off camera to sort of figure out how it all works. And I believe the best mixing ratio for this, based on the... Um, the engine running right so best mixing ratio based on what we've got available to us is I need two pallet two bales of hay I think that's correct then need one bale of straw silage and pallet of one bale of um, straw. Right. Another thing I bought off camera last night was this lovely, lovely, lovely um, bale loading fork. Part of the CSZ pack. And what you do with this, you bring it quite close to your your, uh, your, your bales. Bing! And it auto-loads them. Isn't that cool? Only does three at a time though, which is perfect because you want the hay and silage in first. Okay. 
again, you drop this over the top. And what you do then, to unload this thing, put the spikes into a transport position, which means you probably just saw they just rotated a little bit. And then you hit the button. And it drops them in the box. Now, what we should do as well, we should get the straw. Now, originally, last time I did this, Sometimes you have a bit of an issue getting this to recognise. Um, the bales. There we go. Just drive away from them. That usually fixes it. I'm sure the mod author will fine-tune it a little bit. I know he's had a bit of a pounding recently because of the um the global uh, um the the this <coughs> excuse me the cs said updates and some of his other mods that he's added which have caused some some finidly think fin finigly little issues but hey ho we've got total mixed ration perfect now obviously we're going to do it this way for a time being, Laura says, to feed her, her cows. I only need to do one more load. They're about 60% full in a minute. Aren't they? 65% full. Now, there's no... There's no real other ways you can do this. I don't think. Right various different mixing ratios I've done if I do like two silage on hay one straw um, the problem kind of comes with the fact that it's a little bit imbalanced. Most people will know, or if you followed me long enough, you'll know that when I have my TMR machines, I tend to balance things out a bit easier. Make things a little bit um, more even. In actual fact, what I tend to do is actually reverse the mixing values on my TMR. What I mean by that is, um, normally when you're making TMR, making TMR you need um, basically about you know, two parts two parts hay two parts silage one part straw if you was doing it as a pie chart thing um, two fifths of it you'd want mixed with um your um and that and you can either do it you can i mean if you're doing it say out of a hundred 
you'd probably want maybe 40% hay, 40% silage, 20% straw is how the game normally does TMO. I don't like that because um, obviously hay is very difficult to produce if you're playing with seasons. Silage is a quite an in intensive type process of doing the grass, baling it, wrapping it, waiting for the bales to ferment and all that jazz. So you tend to get, and that stuff you get through so much faster, yet straw is plentiful. You can get loads of straw, <coughs> excuse me, when you're doing your harvests. And if you use the collect straw emissions mod, you can get plenty of straw when you're doing your, um, your contracts, you know. The cows now have 94% food, so that is enough. At this point, leave them there for a minute. Uh, they've produced a little bit of milk. We've got a little bit of slurry. And we should have a little bit of manure. There we go. Manure pen is starting to fill up. Magical. Um, Take this guy back to the farm. Ooh, I was going to take him back to the farm, but I missed my turn. <laughs> Driving him into the pig pen, which we don't have yet. We're also going to check on the prices of the horses today. Because while we've got the animal trailer here, I'm wondering if I should sell the horses today. I know they're not at full training and full value. But we could get them sold and get some new, get some fresh ones and start the cycle again. Hey, uh, you've left your um, front loader. By the way, I don't know where you notice this. You've left your front loader right where I like to park my tractor. Park my tractor over here next to our service trailer. And, in keeping with the rules that have now been established on the um, multiplayer server, whenever you see the Thunder Creek trailer, you have to say... Thunder! Thunder! <laughs> okay. I probably won't do that too many times. Right. Let's head over here. Let's see. We've got um need a little bit of straw. Give him a little splash. And it will work through our, our lovely little bales. It's a shame the bales aren't actually animated to move forward, but I think that's a I think that's a game limitation type thing. I don't think there's anything Black Sheep Moddy can do about that. Um, because it's not a static placeable, this machine. I don't think you could have it animated so that the bales move forwards. I think that only works for statics. splash of water to the horses a little bit we can manage that can't we Dolores a little bit of fresh cool water for you on this hot summer's day let's have a look 
Yeah, look, forty-two thousand. They're nearly. They're ne honestly. They're 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 literally ready to go today. Literally ready to go. I know we could get fifty grand for them if we wait one more day. But honestly, I just need something to do. <laughs> I just need something to do. Whilst I'm waiting for my um. <coughs> Excuse me. You keep sneezing. Allergies, baby. Hay fever and all that. Oh. Pollen count must be high today. Okay. We're having some strange weather at the minute. We have like one day which is like really cold and wet. And then the next day, it's like flipping peak summer hot temperatures. So obviously, the weather alternating like that between cold and wet and then boiling hot and sunny, all the plants and stuff are just going fucking crazy at the minute in your gardens and in fields and stuff like that. So, unfortunately, for someone like me who gets a bit of the old hay fever, along with my asthma and everything, it tends to make it a bit of a flipping nightmare. Nightmare. Right, let's go get our horses. We're going to take the horses. We are going to sell them. And then what we'll do is we'll bring 16 new ones back with us. We'll sell the 16. Our first, our first batch. And then we'll... Um, We'll go get some new ones. I take all of these from the farm. What I could do here, I could be a little bit cheeky. No, I can't. No, I can't. Got where I was for a minute. I could be cheeky up here and now cut across the bottom of a field um, uh, 21, which we are leasing, our leased field, but I'm not going to. I'm going to stick to the little little gravel path that we've kind of got on the farm. Down to the animal dealer with the horses in the trough. Do -do 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 -do. Now, technically, when it going back to the animal feeder situation, that animal feeder um, from the Anderson DLC pack has got quite a big capacity. It's about twenty nine thousand and a few odd liters of um, TMR. That's its total capacity not quite perfect I would have preferred if it had been like 32,000 litres that would have been absolutely spot on for me because of my bales my bale I think my bales are 8,000 litres my bales so obviously wait a minute wait a minute did I forget to Move my horses. <laughs> Dolores. <laughs> How did I forget to move the the at the horses from the um I could have sworn I clicked on them. Did I not hit confirm or something? Dolores she's driven all the way here with no horses in the trailer. 
just rocked up at the dealership gone hey do you want to buy my horses and the guys at the dealership are like uh what horses she's like the ones in my trailer no horses in your trailer love they probably thought she was trying to sell them unicorns or something and they're probably thinking she's a bit cuckoo cuckoo <laughs> I will. We'll, 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 we'll take two. We'll have a take two of this. We'll drive back to the farm and see if we can actually get the horses to stay in the load of horse wagon this time. You know? I'm surprised she didn't notice that that trailer was a bit light when she was driving it. It's 271 sheep as well at the minute. I don't know whether I should take some sheep with me as well sell a couple of sheep 21 sheep we could get rid of 21 sheep as well today keep keep the sheep at about two like i said i'm trying to keep the sheep at about 250 max otherwise it, they get a bit over demanding especially like i say with the fact that they're not actually grazing doing the grass grazing from the animal pen I was toying with the idea of maybe putting seasons back on the save. Switching seasons. Once I've done all my harvesting and I've got everything harvested, possibly throwing seasons back on. There, that looks like a full trailer of horses this time. Um, however, what I would use this time would be the probably the simplified USGO. So there isn't really any planting restrictions or limitations or windows. As long as you've harvested your fields by the second week of winter, you're not going to have any crops withering and, and fields dying. That would be one way of maybe going back to running a, a seasons, a season set up. sure might be something I say for another map another dark time down the road By the way, anyone wondering what that pallet is sat there at the dealership, at the farm, at the store, um, the, the dealership, it's a pallet of bale twine. And the reason why there's a pallet of bale twine sat there is when I came to do my baling um, recently, after doing the field two episodes ago, um, I noticed my baler wouldn't work unless it was filled with twine, even though my baler is not from the Straw Harvest add-on. It's not from the Straw Harvest add-on DLC thing. So I'm a little bit confused, if you like, by that. another couple of horses oh what is happening oh, i think i know what's happening every so often the game updates and um when it updates it resets the animals back like you know if an animal's born if like the, if like we get a baby sheep born or we get a baby chicken born or we get a baby cow born whilst i'm in any of the animal men the menus if anything like that happens it resets the menus and whilst you're playing on 10 times speed like i am doing some of the animals like the chickens and the sheep can reproduce very very quickly and especially if you've got a lot of them and that must be what happened the last time the last time i went to get the horse when i went the first time i was trying to bring the horses from the farm 
as I was in that menu and had transferred them into the trailer, just as I was about to hit, as I hit confirm, I wonder if that screen reset. Possibly. And it moved the animals back to my trailer. It moved the animals out of my trailer back into the pen. I have to watch, you'll have to watch the video a bit more closely. Go back and watch the bit in the video where I first attempted to load this up with horses and see what happened. Did I just forget to hit confirm on the screen or did it reset on me? Either way, we've got 16 new horses. We've sold 16 horses and we've made quite a lot of money. Look, Dolores has broke 1 million. That's a lot of money. A lot of money. Happy with that, aren't we? But yeah, the baler. Even though it's just a regular baler, it's not got nothing to do with the Straw Harvest add-on DLC, I needed to fit twine into it. So I don't know whether that's something that's been caught by the cause by the new updated version of the Straw Harvest DLC. I've downloaded an updated version of the DLC from Creative Mesh directly from their Discord group because obviously they've been working on bug fixing the DLC and stuff but, and obviously their their bug fixes are more up to their bug fixed version is way more up to date now than the version sat on the mod hub so you need to kind of um just double check things a little bit i think if you're doing the dlc so i download i downloaded the as i say the 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 more up-to-date version directly from creative mesh than the one that sat on the mod hub I also then discovered that the Easter egg mod, the, the heating plant mod for that they released, has also had an update. But you have to go back to the Easter egg page and re-download that. And from the outside looking at it, it doesn't look any different. When you go to download it, there's nothing that tells you that that mod has been updated. It's only after you download it and you look at the mod description, the mod description xml file in the zip folder that you realize the version number of the mod has increased from 1.000 to 1.010 um, which tells you that you've got a more up-to-date version of the heating plant so i've got both of those mods installed and active so i've got a much newer version of straw harvest add-on and the heating plant mod installed even though i've not been using the straw harvest stuff all series and um instead what i've discovered is that my um my baler my lovely little case baler um now needs twine it's got to have twine put in it to to bale which i suppose is realistic you know you would have to put bale um, twine or netting in your balers and wrappers and stuff like that it's just something i wasn't expecting having never done it before or had to do it before in this series so I was somewhat confused by it um, I'm also probably going to move this tractor then oh you know what I'm going to do is an idea I've got to quickly borrow this tractor anyway, so why don't I just take that for a minute? Because what I'm going to do in the last minute or so of this video is quickly drive up to the store, grab that pallet. Because what I had to do when I was doing the straw, was it the the, 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 the grass silage baling and hay baling um, the other day, I had to literally drive my baler up to the store, load it with twine to go back and do the baling. <laughs> and I was totally unprepared. Otherwise, I would have took the, I would have took the, um, I would have took the pallet with me. But I didn't have any front loader attachments or anything. There has been a mod released. Uh, I think it was released yesterday, as I record this video. 
It was released yesterday on the Tuesday, the 12th of May, which gives you a little, t uh, a little front, a uh, little implement that you can attach to the front of your tractor on your three point link. A little implement um, that basically you can then load rolls of this twine onto or rolls of the, um, the, the bale wrap or netting or whatever it is. You can load that stuff um, uh, onto the front of this little. Look, basically, it's a it's a it's a it's a frame which has a bunch of metal tubes sticking up on it. Probably about nine, probably nine tubes, maybe twelve tubes, and onto those tubes, obviously, you just place the little. You will you would just drop the little. I don't want to say it looks like a toilet roll holder, but it looks like a toilet roll holder on the front of your tractor. And basically you just drop the you just drop the stacks of bale twine onto it, or you drop the um, um, the bale wrapping material onto it that you, you would use with round balers. But it's one more thing I've now got to deal with in this Let's Play series. Up until now, I've not had to refill my baler whenever I've been baling. It's just, you know, it's just baled. You know, it's been automatic. It's never had consumables. And now it does. Which might make a bit of a change whenever I do baling buddy missions. Because if baling buddy runs out of twine, he's not going to tell me he's run out of twine. He's going to keep driving around. He's just not going to pick up any pallets of material. I'm going to put this over here while we've got some space. Right, and that will, unfortunately, conclude today's episode, people. We've fed the cows, we've mixed up TMR. We've also sold and replaced the horses. Um, we've made... A considerable amount of money to the point that Dolores does not need to do contracts. <laughs> um, which means we may not do any more contracting on this series. We may now just focus on our own stuff. Obviously, one of the things to do with that is we're going to need to um, look at some more fields, perhaps. Uh, I would like field 22, but it's got cotton on it, I believe, at the minute. Yes, and I don't want to do a cotton harvest. Uh, I'm very curious about the fields at the bottom here. Wondering if I could get maybe some of these purchased. Uh, field 13 would be ripe for harvesting some soybeans. 14 has sadly withered, which would have been a field of barley. And the rest are growing. That one field, that is one field for 694,000 bucks. Hmm. There is also a field of uh, sugar beet there as well. So we've got one field to harvest, one field to plough and start again on. And... Um, That might be worth investing in. And I can't see me buying any of these other fields. They're all a bit bigger at the minute. Um, field 11, obviously, is... Uh, obviously, I would have really loved field 22, especially now I lease field 21. I would have liked to have had field 22. And then I've got pretty much all this area. You know, around my farm. But... Field 22 has got cotton on it, and I don't want to do a cotton harvest right now at this stage <laughs> in the series. We will get to cotton one day, I'm sure. Um, but for now, I'm going to say it, folks. It's the end of the episode. So thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please go ahead and click that like button for me. Make sure you've clicked the subscribe button if you haven't done already. And don't be afraid to leave a comment in the comment section below the video. And um, be sure to share the video wherever you see fit with whomever you see fit. 
Well, I've been CYE Sun. This has been the Lakeland Vale map by Stevie. And if you're enjoying the Let's Play series, keep watching. And I will see you all again very soon. But for now, from me and from Dolores, who's going to chill out on her balcony for the rest of the day, now her work is complete, it is goodbye. <laughs>